Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today, I'll show you our axolotl's new enclosure, and then we'll watch him eat. My daughter has had this axolotl for some time now, and when we first got it, a 10-gallon aquarium was perfectly adequate for it, but it has grown. And this enclosure upgrade to a 20-gallon aquarium started from the bottom up, you might say. Substrate can present some problems for axolotls. They either need very fine substrate particles, which they can easily pass if they ingest them, or I should say when they ingest them, or stones that are so large that they have no possibility of swallowing them. Anything in between can be problematic. And either sand or large stones can trap debris and consequently make the aquarium harder to clean. With all of that in mind, we've never used substrate for our axolotl. In the older enclosure, we affixed a vinyl aquarium background underneath the tank, just a plain black one, which was better than bare glass, but air bubbles formed between the glass and the background, so the effect wasn't particularly pleasing over time. For this new enclosure, we drew upon an idea for a false substrate from fishyreview.com. We bought some Krylon coarse stone texture finish spray paint in Obsidian. There's a link in the description. We put four coats of this on the bottom surface of the tank, and as stated on Fishy Review, light can still pass through all of these coats, and one option is to use a plain black spray paint to render the finish opaque. But we opted to tape a black garbage bag to the bottom instead, which also effectively blocks the light. You may know that axolotls prefer cooler temperatures. Fortunately, our basement, where the tank is located, keeps the water temperatures in the 60s Fahrenheit for most of the year. But it's important to note that both lights and filters can also increase water temperature. So to minimize such issues, I chose an LED light that has a very dim setting. And note that for filming purposes, I temporarily set the lights on a brighter mode than I usually have it on. Normally it's on the dimmest setting, and I put it on a timer that comes on for just a few hours in the late afternoon and early evening. Since there are no live plants in the tank, the ambient light during the rest of the day is just fine. The filter is also a little undersized, which not only adds less heat than some larger filters might, but it also helps keep the current in the tank fairly low, which is a plus, as axolotls don't appreciate a lot of turbulence to their water. We chose a simple vinyl background, and we retained the axolotl's hide from the previous enclosure, as for now, he fits inside well and seems to use it fairly often. My daughter also chose to add a resin and plastic bonsai to the tank, and I checked it before we bought it, and the false leaves seem to be soft enough not to harm the axolotl. We may at some point decide to add more decor, as the axolotl might appreciate a little more to interact with, but at the same time, he seems to be responding well to the increased open space, so we're contemplating our options. Before we feed him, I want to take an opportunity to thank our patrons at Patreon. Your support means more than I can easily express, but I do want you to know that you really make a difference. And if you want to look into becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month, please click the link at the end of the video. And now, let's feed the axolotl. Although we often offer our axolotl pellets specifically made for axolotls, on the menu for today is a nightcrawler, also an excellent staple food for this species. And it won't take him long. Oh, there he goes. I love how they just slurp them up. And let's get a view of it in slow motion. It's amazing to me that even in slow motion, it really looks relatively fast. And stay tuned to the end if you want to see what happened when we offered a second worm. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets, from axolotls to zebra pill bugs. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell so you don't miss my next video. We did offer a second earthworm to our axolotl, and after he deliberated over it for quite a while, this is what happened. You gonna go for it? <laughs> Runway. Fail. <laughs>